Beginning this month, UPike's Film, Media, and Arts program will begin accepting submissions for next year's film festival. Monday, we spoke with Professor Andrew Reed about the program. So the UPike Film Festival is something that started really in uh, 2014. It was first held in 2015, but planning <laughs> took place 2014. And the goal of it was to solicit films from the region and showcase uh, independent film work. Uh, that was the the idea behind the festival. And initially, we only accepted films from uh, regional folks, and we screened them on campus uh, in, in that spring of, of 2015. Uh, since that time, it has evolved into an event where we showcase films and screenplays from around the world, but we still give uh, special attention to uh, local and regional filmmakers or films about the Appalachian region. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Although held on UPike's campus, Reed says the festival is open to anyone and free to local filmmakers. Absolutely anybody can submit a film or screenplay to our festival this, this upcoming year. We take films from elementary school students all the way up to professionals. So uh, whether you're, you're in high school or a college student or, or you've never even been to college or a film program and you just like to make movies, you can submit to our festival, uh, either a film or a screenplay, and we will uh, evaluate your work and consider it to showcase. You can submit your film on the Film Freeway website, filmfreeway.com slash FMAFest, Monday, August 30th. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.